Hi, boys and girls. Good morning. Hope you guys are doing well. We are um, tackling another day of digital learning today. So I'm going to start our foundations um, lesson in a few minutes. And right now we are going to talk about what day of the week it is. Okay. So today is Wednesday. Our great big word, Wednesday. Today is Wednesday, May 27th. Does anybody know how they can write 27? Let's write a 2 and a 7. 2020. So let's read our sentence for today. Today is Wednesday, May 27th, 2020. Can't believe the end of the month is almost here. I hope you guys have had a great week so far. Um, I'm going to go over our foundations um, lesson in just a minute. We're going to start with our first grade words today. So this is great practice for you guys. When I hold up the word, I want you to try to tell me what the word is, and then I'll keep moving on to the next one. And the more you practice these, the um, easier it gets when you come across these words when you're reading. So it's great practice, especially for this summer um, when we don't have digital learning happening. You can practice these. You can write them on note cards. They're on our website, kindergarten and first grade words. If you want to write them on note cards and practice them, it's a great way to practice your spelling too. You can have a sibling call them out to you or a mom call them out to you or dad call them out to you and just practice writing your core words. It's an awesome way to practice. All right, so let's go over these first grade words little, down, get, into, looking, looking, she, the or the, went, where, Will, your, day, who, want, there, with, this, ask, a, way, back, all, big, her, over. Awesome job. You can kiss your brain. Awesome. Okay, so the first thing that we're going to do is I'm going to go over some of our foundations cards. I just picked a few. We're going to go over all of our short vowel sounds to practice those. And then you guys are going to get a piece of paper or a notepad or something um, or a dry erase board or something you can write with so that you can um, help me spell the words. I'm going to say the sounds and you're going to do the spelling and then we're going to tap it out together. So here's our letter T. So let's go through our foundations cards, a few of them, and then practice those vowels. So we'll be ready to build our words. T top. Q, queen, qu. Man, M, man, m. D, dog, d. All right. So now we're going to go over our short vowel sounds. O, octopus, ah. A, apple, ah. E, ed, eh. U, up, uh, I, itch, I. Awesome job stretching those sounds out. So now we're going to build our um, three words that we are going to use for decoding. Okay. So I'm going to say the sound and I want you guys to write the letter. So make sure if you haven't paused the video and gotten your um, pad or notepad and pencil or your marker in your dry erase marker, something you can build with, magnetic letters, anything that you can build with, okay? So the first sound that we're going to write is the sound that says 
That's right, it's our letter F. Good. The next sound that we're gonna write says I. Write your letter, that's right. And the next one is G, G, G. What letter says G? That's right, it's our letter G. Okay, so let's tap out this word and see if we can read it together. Fig, fig, fig. It's a great job. Has anybody ever eaten a fig? I have a fig tree in my yard and they were so yummy before the hurricane came, but I don't have it anymore. But they make yummy fruit, okay? All right, the next one is the first sound of our CBC word is b, b, b. That's right, write your letter down. Great job. All right, the next sound you hear is uh, and you heard me stretch that sound so you know it's one of our vowel. Great, our short vowel U. And our last sound is s. What letter says s? That's right. Okay, so now let's tap this word out. I'm going to put my dots here so I know where to touch the letters. B, us, b, us, bus. All right. A lot of our friends ride a bus to go home every, every day. All right, last word. The first sound of our last word says mmm. All right, let's write that letter. Good. M. Mm. Next set letter sound you hear is I. Let's write our letter I. Remember, the I says I. And the last sound is K. Which one of our letters says K? All right, okay, so we've got, let's start with this one, sorry. Let's do our tapping sound first and then we'll read all three words again. M, X, M, X, Mix, Mix. Good, so we have Fig, Bus, and Mix, okay? So those are real words. Now we're gonna listen to the sounds and we're gonna write three of our nonsense words. And nonsense words don't make any sense, but it's good to be able to sound out the sounds and write the sounds that you hear because it helps you when you're sounding out words that you don't know as you get into reading bigger and longer books and sentences and that kind of thing, okay? So the first sound you're gonna hear in our first nonsense word says, ooh, okay? That's right, the letter L, great job. The next sound you're gonna hear says, ah. What vowel do I know that says ah? That's right, it's our letter O. And the last sound that we hear says mmm. Okay, that's our letter N. All right, good job. Let's tap this nonsense word out. Ooh, on, l on, lawn. Okay, so there's our first nonsense word. Okay, our next nonsense word starts with the sound that says Mmm. Okay, great. You can write that. All right, the next sound we hear is uh. That's right, it's our letter U. And the last sound says b, b. There's that baby's belly again. We're going to do a big belly on our baby. Okay. M, ub, m, ub, mub. So there's our next nonsense word. Okay, our last nonsense word says k, k, k at the beginning. That's right, I'm gonna write my K. The next sound it says is E. Eh. Good, our letter E. And the last sound says B, B, B. That's right, our letter B. Okay, let's tap this one out. All right, K, E, B, K, E, B. Keb. So we've got three great nonsense words here. We have l on, m ub, mub, and keb, keb. So it's always fun to make up nonsense words sometimes just to see if you know the sounds that those letters um, make each day when you're practicing. All right, the next thing that I'm going to do is talk about two words that we have that are trick words, what they call in foundations are trick words, okay? Word here. The first one is by, 
and the second one is my. And they're called trick words because they're not words that you can tap out or say the sounds to to make the word. They're words we have to just memorize, okay? So by and my are two of our trick words. So today we're gonna use our trick words to make two sentences, okay? And your job during this is to help me make sure that I am doing the three things that we need to make our sentence look and be able to be read by someone so that all the letters are on top of each other or it doesn't start with a capital letter. So the first thing you have to remember when you're writing a sentence is you want to start it with a capital letter. The second thing you want to always remember is that you have finger spaces in between your words so that the letters don't all get jumbled up together. And the last thing is to make sure that you have punctuation. So you can use a period, or when you're asking a question, you can use a question mark, or when you're excited about something, you can use an exclamation mark, okay? So the first sentence that we're gonna write is, is gonna say this picture is colored by Meg. Okay. Did I, first of all, I want you to check my sentence first. Okay. So did I start my sentence with a capital letter? If I did, I'm going to give myself a check mark up here. Did I start it with a capital letter? Yes, so I'm going to get a check mark in my box, okay? The next thing I want you to look for is, does my sentence have finger spaces in the middle? Yep, I've got finger spaces in between all of my words, so I'm going to give myself a check. The last thing is, did I use punctuation? Oh no, I forgot punctuation. What am I going to put at the end of my sentence? That's right, a period. And what does a period mean? Stop. This sentence is over. Okay, the next thing I want you to do is I want you guys to point to the trick word that I wrote in my sentence. Where do you see that trick word? The one I talked about that you can't sound out, but you have to memorize. Great job, there he is, I'm gonna circle it. By was my trick word. Okay, one more sentence here. I want you guys to see I'm doing a great job writing it, okay? So my sentence this time is gonna say, that is my jacket. Oops. Oh my goodness. Let me double check myself. Did I get a capital letter at the beginning? I did, but what did I forget that makes it easy for my reader to read my sentence? I forgot finger spaces. So I'm going to erase that work and I'm going to start over and I'm going to remember I need to start with a, an uppercase letter and then I need to make sure I have my finger spaces, okay? So I'm going to take my time this time and I'm going to write my words with finger spaces so my reader can read my sentence because that was just so messy. All right, that is my jacket. Okay, let's double check that I have all three things that I need. I have a capital letter, check. I have finger spaces, check. And I have a period at the end of my sentence, check. I've got all three things that I need for my sentence. So I did an awesome job with that. All right, so remember those three things when you're writing your own sentences for your teachers, or if you're writing a note to your mom or a special letter, you're gonna to wanna to make sure you have those finger spaces because it makes it super easy for them to read your sentences. Okay, the last thing I'm gonna end on today is gonna to be our um, harmony lesson for today. Okay, so our harmony question is gonna be, what would be a great surprise to find in our classroom? So if we went back to our classroom and we didn't know anything about a special surprise inside, what would a special surprise look like if you were the one to pick it? Okay, so what would it what would a great surprise be in the classroom? 
And I want you to share that something really super duper cool with your teacher. You can either record something on um, Seesaw or you can write them a little note in Seesaw. But what would be a great surprise to find in the classroom? Okay. And we can share some of these. Your teachers would love to hear your answers. All right. I hope you guys have a great day of digital learning. I hope you enjoyed your foundations lesson for today. And I look forward to seeing you soon. We miss you guys. Bye.